Hi, I'm Dave Dooling, Education Director at the New Mexico Museum of Space History, and welcome to today's edition of Virtual Rocketeer Academy. Today, we're going to make a mess and learn something about craters on the Moon, Mars, and even Earth. Craters are formed by meteoroids or even asteroids slamming into a planet or moon, gouging a large hole in the ground and splattering materials everywhere. And what you'll be doing is a lot like the simulations the scientists do today. So with that in mind, it's best to do this project outdoors, but it can be done indoors if you cover the floor with a plastic tablecloth sheet or lots of newspaper. You need these ingredients, flour, cocoa or gelatin powder or something similar, rice or sprinkles, and a pan or box. You also need asteroids, balls or rocks of different sizes, weight and shapes, and a yardstick. First, fill your large flat container with flour, which represents the surface of the moon. Sprinkle some cocoa powder to create a new layer over the flour. Don't stir or mix the layers. The powder represents the regolith or dusty surface. You can make several layers if you want. Add sprinkles or rice to simulate rocks and minerals. Stand beside your lunar surface and use the yardstick to set the drop height at two feet. Hold the asteroid and let it fall. Carefully remove the asteroid and look at the crater. Do your craters look like the craters on the moon? Measure how deep and wide the craters are. Did your craters go through the layers? Can you see the different layers? Did any of the material splash? The splash is called ejecta or rays. Without stirring, try dropping asteroids of different sizes and weights and from different heights. Did any of the new craters cover or overlap the first ones you did? This happens on the moon all the time. By counting craters and seeing how they overlap, scientists try to determine how old the moon is and how old the craters are. Some moon craters are not round, so try throwing a rock in at an angle. The moon has lots of small craters, so throw a handful of pebbles at the surface to make lots of small craters. Look carefully at your moon surface. Can you tell which craters were formed first? Which craters are the newest? Go out at night and look at the moon. Can you see craters from here? Using your imagination, do you see any shapes or patterns, like the man in the moon, or a rabbit? The dark areas on the moon formed when the moon still had a molten interior. Early astronomers named them mare because they looked like seas. At least a few were formed by massive asteroid impacts that led the molten interior ooze onto the surface, creating seas of molten rock which hardened. This new surface soon was peppered with craters of its own. Did you know that Earth has been hit by more asteroids than the Moon? After all, we're much bigger. We have a few craters, but why don't we have more? Our atmosphere protects us by breaking and melting most of the debris from space. Three quarters of Earth is covered by water, so three quarters of impacts are in the ocean and just make waves. When land is hit, weather eventually erodes the craters, destroying them. Every world in our solar system has been hit and many still have the craters to show for it. Mimas, a tiny icy moon of Saturn, was hit so hard that it nearly shattered. And of course, one hit Earth 66 million years ago and killed off the dinosaurs. And just 13,000 years ago, one hit Greenland, possibly changing climate enough to kill off Ice Age mammals and early human cultures. So, keep watching the skies. Thanks for tuning in to Virtual Rocketeer Academy. Keep checking back for more episodes and great fun lessons. Bye.